Right, so we've got another tricky question here. It says, uh, if x plus y is equal to 8 and y plus m is equal to 17, find the value of x plus 2y plus m. Again, this is a tricky question, but pause it and see how you go with it. Okay, hopefully you recognize that this is a tricky question, and that's okay. You're going to come across these tricky questions. If you want more exposure to these trickier type questions, what I would recommend is that, and let me show you how you can find them. If you come to your textbook here, and let me just bring this down a bit more. If you come to your textbook, there's actually, under algebra, look, uh, problems and challenges. And that's where I am. Look at all these questions, problems and challenges questions. So you can give these a go, and... Um, they will help you prepare for the challenging questions of the test. So there you go. All right, so let's come over here and see if we can do it. What would we do here? Um, the first thing that I notice here is that I've got x plus 2y plus m. And do you see over here, I've got x, I've got y, I've got y, I've got m. So what I would want to do is I would want to take this, I would want to take this and add it to this. So x plus y, and then I'm going to add this to it, plus y plus m. And that's going to leave me with x plus 2y plus m. Now, the reason why that's important, because do you see how this is the same as this? So therefore, to figure out what the value of this is going to be, what would I do? Well, if I know that x plus y is equal to 8, that means that this right here is 8. And if I know that y plus m is equal to 17, y plus m is equal to 17, well, by adding these two things together, I'm going to get 25, which must mean that this is equal to 25. So that's the thinking that goes on behind this question. So a really nice question, uh, and that's how you do it. Uh, so the answer would be 25.